go out there to see who it is. It's probably 30 or 40 people. Put the girl back up there. Put her back up there. Miss Jennifer. Make them submit, Miss Jennifer. <laughs> And I walk in there, and that, that girl right there, but two years younger, a year and a half younger, is standing there with a homemade thank you card. And I take the thank you card, and I'm looking at it, a little yellow construction paper thing with green crayon. It says, Donkey Opa. Thank you, Grandpa. And I, but I still don't catch on. I said, what happened? What is it? When you reached over and kissed her, or she said me, she said, my ears popped. Woo! <laughs> and she began to hear for the first time. She hit me. <laughs> and I reached over and kissed her again, and she hit me again. I told him, get her away from me. <laughs> but I went to service all that night, and the second time that I kissed her on the cheek, her ears popped again, and this time, I want you to look. She has ears, look. Good at my 
my job. God's made me into an excellent soldier. This I can do because of Jesus. I need you to say that with me. This, this I can do because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Got to go preach somewhere else. But about six weeks later, I get an email. I was so astounded to find out that she had been run over in 1967. 77, 87, 97, 07, 17. 50 years. She was wired together by men's abilities. Instantly, God took man's abilities and put new power through her. She grew new blood. 93 years old. Come on, Jesus. This is what God wants to do with you. We are sons and daughters of Zion. Up and become who God made you to be. Yeah. I was out running early this morning. I got 10 kilometers and I'm out there. I run up on the witch. She saw me before I saw her. And she come up at me, and I just stopped. Ran. <laughs> Once we figured out who each other was, she started trying to get away, and I told her, I'm a runner. You won't get away from me. <laughs> it was very tense. No, she didn't get saved. No, she didn't get delivered. But she did run pretty good. Hell needs to know who you are. Your identity is Jesus. And you need to present yourself as a son of God. I'm 68 years old. Top of my head to the bottom of my feet, I'm healthy. No sickness in my body. I take no medicine. Jesus is given. Yeah. On the 17th of August this year, I'm running an 80 kilometer race. She looked how she combed her hair and how pretty she is. She was all fixed 